actually, the last day of chemo was my daughter's birthday. So that was a celebration, you know, twice. <laughs> I am Marlena Murphy. I am a full-time grad student working on a master's in clinical mental health counseling. And I'm a mother of a teenage daughter. She is 15, so that's challenging. <laughs> I am an advocate. I work as a community advocate for Turning Point Breast Cancer Rehabilitation. In addition to, I work as a program manager for an organization called GRASP, which is guiding researchers and advocates to scientific partnerships. I do my monthly checks and upon doing that in 2018, I discover a lump um, in my left breast. And um, I contacted my primary care provider, and then I was scheduled for a mammogram. And so that was the first time I ever had a mammogram. At that point, I was 40. A lot of different things happened from when I first felt the lump. The breast MRI, the ultrasound, the biopsy, those things combined to be able to tell the doctors that it was triple negative breast cancer and it was stage three. First of all, I didn't even know there were multiple types of breast cancer. So when they said triple negative, one thing that they said was that it was an aggressive form of cancer and, you know, things needed to be done pretty quickly. I received treatment starting in August of 2018. And so the first treatment was chemotherapy. And I had chemotherapy through December 2018. And so after I did chemo, I had a lumpectomy. So they just took what was left for the lumpectomy, but they also took lymph nodes. It was one or two that had cancer in it. I had radiation on that side as well. And then I had to take Zalota. When I was first diagnosed, the Lord was already telling me, you need to stop and go into counseling. Like, no, I'm not going to leave my nice paying job and I, because I don't know how I'm going to pay for school. And ultimately, when the breast cancer diagnosis came, I was like, oh, okay. Which is really how I ended up at my school, which is uh, Richmond Graduate University. It put things in perspective for me to go ahead and do what I'm supposed to be doing to fulfill my purpose in life. In 2021 as well, September is when Turning Point hired me as their community advocate. It's to address the disparities. It also addresses the financial disparities because a person can come get treatment um, with Turning Point regardless of their ability to pay. Being part of the different advocacy groups that I'm in, we hold meetings and we hold small groups where we talk to researchers in the African-American community, we need information that's catered to us. We need treatment that's going to be catered to us, our genes, our genetic makeup. There's a lot of mistrust, but I think if you have people like advocates like me or people who have been a part of clinical trials who are also advocates as well, promoting clinical trials, talking with people about clinical trials and showing them that there was a benefit. I think in the African-American community, you'll find more people wanting to be intrigued, wanting to get educated, and actually start to participate in clinical trials. What I would say to members of Congress is Black women are being diagnosed at alarming rates of triple negative breast cancer. I believe that more money should go into research, into the depth of why we are getting triple negative breast cancer and why it is deadly for Black women. Having advocates getting out there in the community, educational workshops, providing money for transportation. If a woman needs to go and get a mammogram, not being punished, I guess you could say, if she has to miss work for that. Because a lot of people may fear their job is on the line if they have to go to the doctor's office. 